Hi, this is Sharon. Here's a little sampler from my Burning Academy. Enjoy! When beginning work on either a bison or a yak, who, by the way, are members of pretty much the same family, they, they actually are related, um, I always begin with the eyes. On virtually every project, animal project or people project, I'll begin with the eyes. I think it's monumentally important. As you can see here, I'm using a fine writer. This is the Colwood Micro Writer. I am testing, always testing the uh, heat and making sure that it's not too hot. I don't want to burn a hole in it. I want to have enough time to make good lines and I want them of a good medium tone so that I can either speed up and make my line lighter or slow down and make it darker. Now what I'm going to do, once I'm done outlining the eyes, is to go through and identify the different sections. These animals have a lot of interesting changes in their fur. Some of the fur is very fine, and other fur gets very coarse. You'll notice that there are many different variations, and in some areas it's so short it almost looks flesh-like. So all I'm doing at this point is with a medium uh, value, which means it's not going to be real dark, I'm going through and just identifying the changes. This might be changes in quality of line, it might be changes in values, light and dark sections. Either way, I need to identify these changes. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the eye here. I'm just going over very gently with a shader. I'm not gouging in. I have a medium heat, and I'm simply, with the flat section of the shader, smoothing, almost ironing that area out very gently. It should be glass smooth, and that'll fill out dark section of the eye. 